going on everybody this is the mac roberts back with another nba 2k21 my player builder video this one is going to be on the best glass cleaning lockdown build and the glass cleaning lockdown is the go-to build for centers in pro-am next to the 7-3 paint beast uh it's a shooting build so it allows you to play the five out with the rest of your team as long as your team is a bunch of shooters and it helps space the flow out great build so uh we're gonna get right into it without any further ado uh position is center handed it doesn't matter jersey number it doesn't matter either for the pie chart you're gonna choose the old shooting and defensive rebounding pie chart not the new one uh, the reason why you won't choose the new one is because the shooting stats on this are so much lower even though the defensive stats are obviously a lot better. Uh, as far as the physical profile, you want to use the balanced physical profile so that you're not bullied in the paint but you can also, uh, you know, you're not super slow and, you know, so that you can run up the court. Now for the attributes, what you want to do is you want to bring your close shot up to an 84 driving dunk up to a 57, standing dunk at a 76, and post hook you're gonna leave alone. Mid range uh, for shooting stats, you're gonna max that out to 71 for mid range, 67 for three point shot, free throw, you're gonna bring that all the way up to an 82 and max that out as well. And post fade, you're not gonna completely max that out, you're gonna stop at a 77. Uh, playmaking stats, you're going to leave completely alone. Uh, defensive and rebounding, you're going to max out your interior defense, max out your perimeter defense, max out your lateral quickness, max out your, uh, not max out your steel, you're going to bring that also up to a 54. So 54 perimeter defense, 54 lateral quickness, and 54 steel. Uh, for block, you're going to max that out. And for rebounding, you're going to max those both out for a total of 22 badges. Now, with 22 badges for defensive and rebounding, one playmaking and 18 shooting badges, and five finishing badges, you're going to end up with 46 badges, which is a decent amount of badges for a center who can do a bunch of different things. Rebound, he can shoot, and he can kind of finish in the paint, you know, if he's left open, and he can finish through contact when we get the badges. So for body type, it's not really going to matter. Usually when I make a center, I usually use built or burly. So for this one, I'm going to make burly. Now height, uh, you can, I've seen obviously the 7'3 center uh, in Pro-Am, also the 6'11 and 6'10 center, kind of an undersized. What we're going to do today, we're going to make a 6'11 center. 6'11 seems to be the sweet spot uh, where you can be able to, you know, grab the rebounds, you can play some defense. Uh, your shot is much better than if you were seven foot, you get plus one in mid-range, three-point, and free throw. And your driving dunk is a little better as well. Now for weight, you're gonna max out your weight so you can get that 89 interior defense. Very necessary so that you're not bullied in the paint. And you're also given that 87 strength. Now for the wingspan, you're not going to max out your wingspan uh, because that brings your mid-range shot down to a 69 and your three-point shot to a 66. What you're going to do is go two under, so you still have a 70 mid-range shot and a 67 three-point shot. So when you're a 99.9 overall, you can get a 75 mid-range shot and your three-pointer is going to be a 72. Also, your standing dunk is better, your driving dunk is better, and your close strain shot is better, and all your defensive attributes are improved. Now you're given two choices of a takeover. I usually choose glass cleaner when I'm in the wreck. Rim protector is also a great takeover. I'm gonna go with glass cleaner on this one though. And the build is complete and you have made a glass cleaning lockdown. Shades of Ben Wallace, Jonas Valanciunas, and Brooke Lopez. Now, for the badges, what you're going to do is, for the finishing badges, you're going to make contact finisher on gold and consistent finisher on silver. The reason why you go with consistent finisher as your second badge is because usually if you play in the wreck, you're gonna play without the shot meter. If you wanna consistently make those threes, and if you wanna play with uh, the shot meter off, especially with this new system, you're definitely going to need help with those poorly timed layups. So that's why you choose consistent finisher. Your shooting, you're going to go catch and shoot gold, corner specialist gold, dead eye on gold, 
Green Machine on gold, Hot Zone Hunter on silver, Range Extender on gold, and Slippery Off Ball on bronze. Now, the reason why I chose Hot Zone Hunter on silver as opposed to Flexible Release, which is also probably a uh, shot that you wanna do. Um, once you learn your shot, it's pretty easy to consistently green it, and that's why you have Green Machine on gold. Slippery Off Ball, what that does, it helps you get open a lot easier. It's a weird badge. It's not really like a finishing badge, uh, but it is alongside those finishing lines. Um, Range Extender is self-explanatory, as is Corner Specialist and Deadeye, and Catch and Shoot as well. Uh, but what you can do is, if you don't really have a lot of Hot Zones, definitely take Hot Zone Hunter off and switch to Flexible Release. That one is completely subjective to you. For your playmaking badge, what you want to do is either quick first step or break starter. I, I'm going to go with break starter because when you get that rebound, you toss it right out to your open teammates and they're able to finish a lot easier. The last is defensive rebound. You're going to go brick wall hall of fame. You want to go Rebound Chaser on Hall of Fame, Rim Protector on Gold, Box on Gold, and you're left with eight upgrades left. I go Intimidator on Gold and Interceptor on Gold, and you're left with two upgrades, and you go Pogo Stick on Silver. Now, if you're playing in Wreck, this is probably the quintessential build. If you're playing twos and threes, I would probably go uh, Interceptor on Silver, Box on Silver, Intimidator on Hall of Fame, and either Worm or Clamps on Bronze. Uh, Worm is super effective if you know how to swim. Uh, it's an advanced rebounding technique and everybody should learn how to do it if they want to play center effectively. And Clamps just helps to play defense when you're guarding uh, the mismatched point guards and shooting guards, the 6'5 guys who are gonna be on the court, just to help you uh, force that uh, pickup of the ball. All right, everyone, this has been the best glass cleaning lockdown build. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you kept up with everything we do on the channel. And, of course, we're coming with more 2K content on the regular. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.